the end of the day, it is about connection. I'm trying to persuade and tell people that it's not a banana, it's a banana producer that's actually given you this product. It's not a fair trade mark, it's a cocoa farmer. So coming up with the real life examples of where impact has actually changed lives. Whilst we're all doing great things in a big way, um, we shouldn't lose sight of the fact it's about individuals behind each of the products. And keep doing what you're doing and do more of what you're doing. Persuade businesses to do more as well. Um, be their consumers to make sure that they continue to support fair trade um, and keep talking about the people who actually are fair trade. One of the most enjoyable things that I did during all of my time at Cobb was to go into schools and talk to young children about fair trade, show them photographs, not in detail um, and not about the issues, but just simple things like, did you know this chocolate bar is produced by this yellow rugby ball looking thing on a tree? And they, they're in awe of that before you even start talking about, and here's a farmer and this is how he works and this is what he does. Um, so trying to make the connection early on. Um, because I think the important thing going forward is that if you get the children early and you can persuade them, um, which is quite straightforward and easy because they have such a simple outlook, right and wrong, fair and unfair, um, and as soon as they realise, they want to do the right thing. So take the message to them, make them aware of it, build that knowledge, uh, and then hopefully as they be begin to develop into um, teenagers and campaigners and then consumers, they will begin to shop fair trade and make the right choice and become responsible citizens.